Hey everybody, what's going on? Nick Addiction 1984 back with another video and another look at another figure. And this time it is Sarah Connor from Terminator Dark Fate. Say what you want about the movie, I actually enjoyed it. And I very, very much like this figure. I'm probably going to get some backlash because I'm a big Terminator fan, but you know what? I don't listen to other people's opinions. You guys don't even need to listen to my opinion. I like Terminator Dark Fate and I like this figure. Uh, first and foremost, this head sculpt is just too good to not want to show off. Um, that is fantastic. That is Sarah Connor, Linda Hamilton in plastic form. I love it. Look at that. She's all wrinkled. She's a bit older, but she's still badass. And I've got her pose like that scene in the Terminator where she's just coming out of her truck and she's blowing... Uh, just a shitload of ammunition into the Rev 9 on the freeway. Um, I'm really, really, really over the moon with this figure. I mean, I, I can't believe the amount of detail um, that they've put into her. You might see the alternate head sculpt in the back. She's not taken her head off and swapped it around. A quick little look at the accessories that she comes with, just quick. Like a handgun, she comes with a machine gun, an M14, I believe, and an interchangeable hand. I'll get a better look at that head sculpt in a minute. But I just wanted to kind of have you guys look at how... Awesome, she looks, and she's a tiny figure, she's not big, I mean, she falls in the 7 inch scale. But I think she probably stands more about 5 inches tall, 5-6 inches. And she's really, really, really petite, I mean, compared it to like an Arnold figure. She's really small. Um, compared to those other figures. But she fits in nicely with those figs. The sunglasses on, those don't come off, that's why they gave us the alternate head, but... No, I absolutely freaking love this thing, guys, I really do. She's really cool, and I hope you guys agree. I think, um... Oh, well, let's do a runner here. I would have loved to have seen NECA do a wee bit more. This is by NECA, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that already. Uh, I kind of would have... I would have liked it if, if they did more figures. I think Grace would have been good good in the line, and even the Rev 9. Just to kind of complete it. I don't know what it was about this particular figure line. Maybe just because the film didn't do so well. But that hasn't really stopped NECA before from making figures from shit films. Um, but this thing is awesome. I'm kind of getting a more in-depth look at her up close for the first time. I think I've figured out how to start turning the brightness down in the videos, guys. Um, <laughs> it's taken so long to do this. So you guys know me, I'm just rough cut with these reviews. I don't go into details. There's other guys that are better at this than I am. We just shoot the shit over here, don't we? But she's got her uh, bulletproof vest on. You know, she's looking a little bit worse for wear now. She's been through the wars. But she's really, really cool. I love It's the head sculpt that got me more than anything on her. It really was. And like I said, that pose, you can get her in some really cool poses, but... That one about cuts it for her, I think. She looks good. Looks really, really, really good. And I'll take a look at this other head sculpt. It's quite small, but... This is the first time I've done a close-up like this. I'll try and turn the volume down. There she is. She almost looks as wrinkled as my fingers. <laughs> I've never seen them up close that far. I'm getting a bit freaked out by the state of my fingers. <laughs> and there she goes. Heads are rolling. But her fingers. Okay, I'm going to cut this one, guys. But there you have it. Sarah Connor. Small figure, but packs one hell of an almighty punch. And like I said, hey, I like Terminator Dark Fate. I like the fact that she came back for this one, even if it was maybe for a quick payday. But, you know, they're doing what they can with these franchises. They're getting a bit old now, and I kind of wish that they would just stop making them in general. I would have loved if NECA had made Grace and Rev 9, just to kind of fill out the set a little bit. We don't have Carl, as Arnold was known in that movie, but we'll probably pick him up at some other time. And Nick Addiction 1984. And as always, I'm signing out. What is it off? I forget one sign that wins. See you later, guys.